Kelly from the Chattanooga Zoo, and thank you for joining us today. I'm here with my friend Max, the Eastern Box Turtle. Are you excited for our program today? We sure are. Let's go. Hi guys, thanks for joining me over at our chimpanzee habitat. We have a troop of seven chimpanzees, five females and two males. What's really interesting about our troop is that we do have an alpha female, Renette, who is not pictured here. She's too cool for school since this is a training session. Uh, but she usually sits up tops and just kind of watches the troop and makes sure everything's going well. And then we do not have an alpha male. So we do have two males. One has the support of the females. That would be um, Artie, but he's too chill for that. He doesn't want the responsibility. And then we also have Scotty, who is actually pictured right here doing training. Scotty really wants the job, but he doesn't have the support of the females, so he likes to show off and show off how big and bad he is, but a lot of times that just kind of proves the females' points that he's not ready for the responsibility. So I wanted to bring you over here so that we could see training in action. So a lot of times people ask, like, do you train them tricks? Absolutely not. They do have some really cool behaviors though. They are partners in their animal care. So we try to train behaviors that are gonna help us care for them so they can have a long, healthy life. So you can see Dina here is actually brushing their teeth. We have Shirley, and then we have Katrina, Scotty, and Amanda at the end. So not everyone's chosen to participate, and that is kind of the essential aspect of our training program. It's always gonna be optional. We never force our animals to do anything. Again, we want them to partner in their healthcare, and by doing that, they have to be able to have choice. So you can see that Miss Dina has a clicker, so that's kind of her bridge. So that says, hey, that behavior you just did is what I was looking for, because I don't know about you, but I'm clumsy. Dina seems to be pretty coordinated, <laughs> but when I'm training, it can kind of take me a second to get that reward available. So that tells them, yes, exactly what you just did is what I needed, and then it gives them uh, notice that they're gonna get their treat in just a second. Some of the behaviors that our chimpanzees know, as you can see, we're touching different parts of their body through a protective mesh. We never share the same space with our chimpanzees. That keeps them safe and keeps us safe. And this is being filmed during lovely COVID-19 times. So <laughs> we're all wearing our masks. These guys can catch COVID and we wanna keep them safe. So another reason why we never share a space with a chimpanzee. They're incredibly intelligent, social, and emotional, but it's just best for them to have their own space for everyone's safety. So the treat or reward that they're getting is gonna be shelled peanuts, but we also have some sugar-free juice available in case we run out. So back to those behaviors I was talking about, I got a little excited and started jumping topics, sure. but they can show us different parts of their body. They can let us brush their teeth. They can actually let us dremel their nails down so that they're nice and smooth and not too sharp or long. We can also clean their ears and Chimpanzees can be at risk for diabetes. So we really have to watch what they eat and their blood sugar. So we've actually trained our animals to allow us to prick their fingers so that we can check their blood sugar. And we have to monitor their food intake. These guys are omnivores, so they're gonna eat fruits, veggies, and meat. But most of their diet is gonna be those fruit and veggies. Fruit out in the wild is gonna taste more like a sweet potato, but here in America, we have a sweet tooth. And so our fruit's just kind of uh, grown and been modified to be more sweet. So they'll get a lot of veggies more so than fruit. And we do have to make sure that they do have a healthy blood sugar level. Another thing that we can do is we can give them a shot. So if they need to get some pain medication, an antibiotic, or even once a year when they're gonna meet the vet, we can inject anesthesia into them or anesthetics so that we can get them to sleep so that we can do an up close examination, keep the chimpanzee safe and keep our staff safe as well. Miss Dina, what would be your favorite part of working with these guys? Um, so chimpanzees are incredibly intelligent. Um, they can actually be about as smart as a 14 year old human. Um, they are very good at word association. So they actually understand a lot of what we say without us even teaching it. Um, and they are very good at understanding a behavior of us and them and routine and just catch on to things very quickly. So it's really cool to see all of that as you start building a relationship with yeah. these guys. 
Thank you. These guys actually share about 98% of our DNA, so there are some amazing similarities, and I'm sure Miss Dina gets to see a lot of those as she's working closely with them. Um, these guys did come to us uh, from labs. So a while back ago, the United States decided that it wasn't ethical to do testing with these guys just because they are so intelligent and social and emotional and we wanted them to have the best lives. So some of them came from medical labs and some came from cognitive study labs. So we're really fortunate that they all got along. Their social structure is so unique that it was really fortunate that these guys came together to get along. Our chimpanzees are about in their 30s and they can live to be 50 or 60 years old in the wild, but up to 70 years in human care, mostly because they get excellent treatment. Because these guys are so smart, we wanna make sure they're not bored. If there was anything that COVID taught me, it was the importance of enrichment, right? Once we didn't have as much to do, I got really, really bored. And so for chimpanzees, we wanna make sure that they're constantly thinking and solving problems and using their natural adaptations because it's gonna keep them healthy and safe, both mentally, socially, and emotionally, and cognitively. So these guys get different enrichment items seven times a day, which is a lot. That's a lot of work for Miss Dina because enrichment can't just be the same thing every day. It has to be new and exciting. So sometimes it's a puzzle feeder, sometimes it's tossing their food and letting them find it, sometimes it's hiding their food, sometimes it's giving them a new toy or object in their area. So it can be a lot of work to keep up with that. And like I said, our alpha female is important to that social structure. So what she does is she will monitor the, monitor the chimpanzees and anytime you live with a group of individuals, there's going to be really happy times and there's going to be times where like you don't care for each other and you want your space. Sure. That can happen here. They can get upset with one another. So Renette will watch it and make sure that they yeah. calm down and everything's settled. And if they are getting a little too rowdy and worked up together, I've actually seen her Trent. separate Trent chimps physically. She got in the middle and pushed them apart. Mm -hmm. And then she lets them go to their I corners, cool off, and eventually they come back and apologize. So it's very essential for uh, her to be a part of this yeah, structure. One thing that we like to tell people about these chimpanzees is that unfortunately they are endangered. They can be found in the rainforest of Africa and there has been some increase in human animal conflict because of our awesome technology. Our technology is awesome and it does help with conservation, but it can also create some problems. So in all of your electronics, your video game consoles, your smartphones, your cameras, the GoPro I'm using to record this, has a mineral called coltan and it's found in the rainforest of Africa. It's a mineral uh, that you have to mine for and unfortunately it's really unsafe working conditions for those miners as well as it brings them into the chimpanzee habitat and like we said it's great to study chimpanzees and have them out in the wild in here in an accredited AZA zoo and aquarium but you still want your space. So the great thing about Coltan is that it's 100% recyclable. So we partner with EcoCell, which is this amazing organization that will take those items and recycle the Coltan. So I'm sure you probably have old phones in a junk drawer somewhere. Find a way to recycle those so that we can reuse that Coltan and reduce the need for us to go into the rainforest and cause deforestation or causing us to get too close. Another thing that is sometimes beneficial and not beneficial for them would be videos about them, right? So just like this video that we're watching now, it's going to be great and we're going to learn a lot about them and it's this cool experience. However, sometimes you'll see them in the pet trade and people will post videos. That is a terrible idea. Even our uh, animal care professionals like Dina have to have years of training and years of experience in school and yet Still, she does not share the same space with them and she has to take precautions to keep herself safe and our chimpanzees safe. So they're not pets, but one way you can help is by making sure you don't share those cute videos of chimpanzees in people's living rooms. Not the best space for them, so let's not just put that out there and give people the idea that it is. Miss Dina, I have a question for you. How did you get this amazing job? Um, so I went to school for animal science and I got a bachelor's degree. And then I interned for about a year and a half at Zoo Atlanta and um, worked in a couple of zoos, getting some experience with different animals until I realized I really like chimps. 
and then I got the job here to work with the chimpanzee. What would you say is the most challenging part of your job? Uh, the most challenging part is definitely how stubborn they can be. They're so incredibly smart that if they don't want to do something, they just don't. Um, and so you have to be super flexible and work with them on that. You can't force them into doing anything. Um, and so that is the part where you really have to have the right mindset of being patient and loving towards such a smart creature. So, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. So guys, like I said, amazing creatures, and there's a lot that you can do to help them recycle those electronics. Make sure that if you're sharing videos of chimpanzees, they're educational videos, not videos of a cute chimpanzee and not the greatest situation, right? In someone's home. And this juice that Dina's giving out is sugar-free cherry flavored. So we always make sure that anything we give them, whether it's high reward or their everyday diet, is gonna keep them nice and safe and healthy. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Bye guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. We had such a great time. We learned a lot too. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon at the zoo.